everybody, welcome to episode 16 of St. Nick's Kids Online. It's so good that you are here with us today. And whether it's your first time or your 16th time, you're so welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm the Kids Pastor here at St. Nick's Kids and we're just so glad that you are here with us today. Now, it's the beginning of July, which means that we have a brand new theme. And for the whole of the month of July, we are gonna be thinking about our brand new topic, Born to be Wise. Can you say that? Born to be wise. I can't hear you say that again. Born to be wise. No, I know it. You can be even louder than that. Let's go so loud that all the St. Nick's kids can hear you in Bristol and beyond. Ready? One, two, three. Born to be wise. Whoa. You guys are so loud. Well done. Over the next three weeks, we are going to be thinking about wisdom. Where do we find wisdom from? How are wise people so wise? And how can we know what's right? How can we be more wise? And um, so, to help us explore this topic, we are going to be learning a brand new memory verse that is found in Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. So, if you don't have a Bible already, why don't you pause this video now and grab a Bible? Here's my one, and we're going to go to Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. And it says this, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Okay, it's time to go on a wild adventure for wisdom. So we're gonna need to get ready for this July long journey that we're going on together. We're going into the wild, into the jungle. So in a moment, you're gonna need to get ready and I'm gonna need to get ready too. We're gonna need rucksacks to put our gear into. Maybe you have a leopard print top or some tiger stripe top at home, a hairband with some stripes on it. Maybe you have a toy snake. Definitely bring the snake. It might scare off the other snakes. We need the snake. And what about binoculars? Bring some binoculars, a torch, whatever you've got. Let's get ready to go on our jungle adventure because we're all gonna need each other so we can explore our born to be wild adventure. Ready, steady, let's go! I close my eyes and colors fly 
words and lies You're half of mine And it's unreal and changes I was on the edge of deception Caught up in my own hesitation Until your love took over me So I Ask me and I will tell you things you don't know and can't find out. Here we go! Yes! Another real proverb from the Bible! 
better to tie the laces of your shoe than trip and fall on your face. Now, come on, is that a real proverb? What do you think? Put your thumbs up if you think it is, thumbs down if you think it isn't. Ready, let's find out. No, well that's good advice. It's not a Bible proverb. Okay, I wonder who got that right. Let's see, we've got another one. Don't go to your neighbor's home very often. If they see too much of you, they will hate you. Is that really from the book of Proverbs? Thumbs up if you think it's a proverb. Thumbs down if you think it's a noverb. Okay, ready, let's see. Yes, it's a real proverb from the Bible. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Well done if you got that right. Okay, let's do it again. Let's see, we've got this one. Never judge an app by its icon. Is that really from the book of Proverbs? Hmm, this is a tricky one, I'm not sure. Thumbs up if it is, thumbs up down if it isn't. Let's see, ready? No, this is not a Bible proverb. And last one, this is your last opportunity to get it right. Do not love sleep or you will grow poor. Is that really from the Proverbs? I'm not sure. Put your thumbs up if you think it is, thumbs down if you think it isn't. Ready? Yes! It's a real proverb from the Bible. I wonder how many of those you got right. They weren't always straightforward, were there? It's amazing though to see what incredible wisdom we can find in God's word, the Bible. And Solomon was more than just clever. He had wisdom from God. All those things he wrote were inspired by God. They were wisdom God gave him. Wisdom that thousands and thousands of years later can help us live our lives today. Wise people ask. Psalms, proverbs and parables too We're talking about the wisdom here for you Every book, every page, every storyline A poetry, history, inspired divine Wisdom for life, for every day Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way Through the tough times You gotta trust your God Through the good times You gotta trust your God David had a son, the chosen one to rule the kingdom. Had a lot of fun, gained some wisdom, the mighty, mighty king Solomon. God offered him a gift, any wish, any need, but he uh, made me wise to help me lead. A man famous for his wisdom worldwide. I'm reading his proverbs to walk on the wise. Psalms, proverbs, and parables too. We're talking about the wisdom here for you. Every book, every page, every storyline of poetry, history, inspired divine. Wisdom for life, for every day. Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way through the tough times. You gotta trust your God through the good times. You gotta trust your God. Some proverbs you understand from the start. Like to trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Well, others take a little longer. Like a dog throwing up. Now that makes you ponder. But if you take the time and apply your mind, so much knowledge and wisdom your heart will find. So read it often and watch your life grow. As God waters the seed of wisdom you sow. Psalms, proverbs, and parables too. We're talking about the wisdom here for you. Every book, every page, every storyline. A poetry, history, inspired divine. Wisdom for life, for every day. Wisdom for your soul as you're making your way through the tough times. You gotta trust your God through the good times. You gotta trust your God. That was brilliant. Now we have two very important things that we need to do. First of all, we saw in the look back the amazing entries we had for our colouring competition for June. Thank you so much to everybody that entered. We loved it. But we had to choose some winners and obviously I couldn't choose them on my own. I needed some help. And so Brisley and Rich have been pouring over the entries all week. And I'm so excited that hopefully, if we can find him in this jungle, Rich is gonna help us um, tell us who the competition winners are. So let's all shout after three. One, two, three, Rich! Can you, can you hear him? Can you please up by that tree? Let, let's shout, let's shout really loud, okay, ready? One, two, three, Rich! Rich, where are you? Maybe he's in the water. Rich, Rich, where are you? Where are you, Rich? Oh, I'm looking for Rich. 
for the most scary animal in the jungle. They are pretty scary. I think it's going to be okay though. They're our friends, Rich. It's They're all right. Friends. It's all oh, right. Okay. Now, oh. you're going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Okay. Yeah. Rich, you have been um, spending time with Brisley in the jungle this week. Me and Brisley, jungle, uh, we, we had a couple of fires, we had a couple of camps. Yeah, we had a couple of drinks with some tigers. It was good. Wow, that sounds incredible. Yeah. With tigers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're fine. They're not known to be in the jungle, um, but you know. Uh, they're hard to find. They are hard to find. Yeah. They are hard to find. I mean, they are known to be in the jungle. <laughs> well, because that's where they live. But it's where they live, but they're not easy to find in any jungle. No, but they're you very just, apparently you open an Irish bar and they all turn up. They they do. And Grizzly Bear obviously knows all of the animals. Grizzly Bear knows everybody. Everybody. So you and Grizzly and the tigers yep. have been looking at the coming competition. Yeah, we have. I've been using my binoculars to uh, zoom in a uh, great detail on everyone's entries. They were all fantastic. Ooh, ooh, amazing. And have you decided on some winners? We have two winners. What, two? Oh my so, goodness, wait, two people are gonna get a beanie boo? Two people are gonna get a beanie boo. Wow, wow. wow. And are you, are you ready? I'm Will you ready. tell us who's won the so, competition? winner number one was Sienna! Yeah! Yay! And winner number two was Layla! Yay! Well done, amazing winners. Huge congratulations, and we'll be sending a beanie boo to you in the post very, very soon. But, Rich, something else exciting is happening this week. Oh, yeah, Formula One's coming back. Will we ever see it in the jungle? Ah, uh, no, Sky doesn't quite reach out here. But the good news is that we have some better. Even better. Even better. To Even well, just because Formula One is very exciting. Yes. But we have some bad days to celebrate. We have Florence Ruben and Anaya. Rick, how old is Ruben going to be? Ruben is going to be three. Three! And yeah. how old is Florence going to be? Three plus two, which is five! five. And how old is Anaya going to be? Anaya is going to be five plus four, which is nine! nine. So I think we're going to need to sing Happy Birthday. I've got to go find my guitar. I in left it in jungle. the tree. Okay, okay. Go find your guitar. Go find your guitar. Got it. Oh, for you. I was worried a tiger might have eaten it. Okay, let's sing Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday to you. Happy Birthday, dear Ruben, Florence and Amaya. Happy Birthday to you. I find myself searching I'm searching for something I'm out of my depths and I'm longing for wisdom But I know when I call There's somebody reaching Holding me so tight I feel my heart beating
and we want to take as many as possible on because in the choruses you're not allowed to put any post-its on and you have to shake it off and at the end of that we'll see how many are left on the person and then you swap it around you have to go the other way around so are you ready? So are you ready? Let's play shake it off! King Solomon ruled over all of Israel, day in, day out. It was a big responsibility. Solomon showed his love for the Lord. He did it by obeying the laws his father David had taught him. One night, God appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, ask for anything you want me to give you. What? Just imagine for a moment, what would you say to that? Now, let's see what Solomon said. I'm very young and know so little about being a leader, and now I must rule your chosen people. Please make me wise and teach me the difference between right and wrong. Then I will know how to rule your people. Solomon went on to write most of the book of Proverbs, which is full of verses like this. Get wisdom and get understanding. It's much better to get wisdom than gold. Solomon was known as the wisest king that ever lived. God gave Solomon wisdom and great insight, as measureless as the sand on the seashore. People of all nations came to listen to Solomon's wisdom. God makes wisdom available to you and me. No matter how full of wisdom you think you are, there's always room for more. Solomon, God replied, I'm pleased that you asked for this. You could have asked to live a long time or to be rich, or you could have asked for your enemies to be destroyed. Instead, you ask for wisdom to make right decisions. So I'll make you wiser than anyone who has ever lived or ever will live. I'll also give you what you didn't ask for. You'll be rich and respected as long as you may live. 
and you'll be greater than any other king. If you obey me and follow my commands as your father David did, I'll let you live a long time. I don't know of anyone who wouldn't want a life like this. What about you? The great news is that we can, simply by daily and consistently applying God's freely available wisdom to our lives. Have you ever had to make a decision between what you want and what you know is best? Wisdom is crying out to you. Choose me. God's word gives us wisdom for life. In the spring or autumn, you may have seen lots of birds flying overhead. What are those guys up to? Every year, certain animals move from one place to another in huge groups and it's called migration. But why do animals migrate? Well, usually it's to find food or get to warmer weather, yes please, or reach a safer ba a place to have their babies and grow their family. What scientists don't understand is how animals know when to move and where to move to. Perhaps it's the changes in the weather or the length of days that tell animals that it's the time to go. And perhaps they use the stars and the sun or even the wind pattern to figure out when to go. Scientists say animals are just born knowing what to do. They call it instinct. That's just really a fancy way of saying that God tells the animals, his creation, what to do and where to go. And he does the same thing for you in a slightly different way. When you don't know what to do or where to go or how to get there, God gives you the answers and you can find them in his word, the Bible. Some people turn to friends or family or other people when they don't know what to do. And that's not a bad thing to do. But remember that those people aren't perfect. None of them us are. You need to be sure to talk to God. He, only he is perfect. And only he has the answers that are always right. Ask God for wisdom. Wise people ask. But if you could ask God, what would you ask? If you could ask God for anything in the entire universe and he would give it to you, what would you ask for? Why don't you shout it out right now? Those are some cool things. A never ending tub of hot chocolate. Um, hot chocolate, a never ending tub of ice cream I heard. Somebody wanted a puppy. Somebody wanted a water slide in their garden. A sports car. Well, in our story today, this really happened. Solomon was, um, he met God, God appeared to Solomon and God said, ask for whatever you want and I'll give it to you. But what did Solomon ask for? Can you remember? That's right, he asked for wisdom. God gave Solomon wisdom in abundance. That means loads and loads of it. And because Solomon asked only for wisdom, God honored him and said, because you have only asked for wisdom, I will also give you fame and fortune. Isn't that amazing? God's people made good decisions because they had a great leader in charge of them. Solomon was able to make incredible decisions for his people to be known as the wisest king who ever lived because of God's wisdom. Now, God may not tell us exactly what to do in every single situation for every single decision we have to make, but with wisdom from God, we can be confident in making good choices. We are wise to ask God for wisdom and he will give it to us. God's wisdom is far above anything we could learn from a book, from a professor or a scientist here, scientist here on earth. God's wisdom makes a person more than smart. It makes them wise. Wise people ask. So I'd love to hear you share and hear the wisdom of you have and others have with those around you. So I'm going to put three questions up right now and I'd love you to chat about them with your family. Wise people ask. Let's take 
take a moment to listen to God. Why don't we start by getting comfy and taking three deep breaths. And as we do, let's draw near to God, allow the busyness of our minds to be calmed down and to feel his presence with us. So let's go, let's take three deep breaths. Well done. Now, we know that God is always listening to us, so let's talk to him. Why don't you tell God the name of the smartest person that you know? You could say it in your mind or whisper it into your hands if that's easier. So tell God the name of the smartest person you know. I wonder who you said. Well done. Now let's tell God um, something that we are struggling to trust him with. What are you worrying about today? And you need to trust God that he will make it happen, that he's in control. Whatever it is, why don't we tell God about it right now? It's so good that we can trust God with all of our worries. We can trust him because he's overcome the world and he is in control. Now, finally, let's take a moment to listen to God. We know that God is always listening to us, but it, he loves it when we talk to him, but also when he can talk to us. So he sometimes do that, does that through words in our mind, through Bible verses that he brings to mind, through pictures in our mind. So let's have a listen. What does God want to say to you today? What wisdom does he want to share to you? Why don't you put out your hands now? And this is like a sign that you're open and you're ready to hear what God wants to say. It's like opening yourself up. So let's open ourselves up and ask God, God, what do you want to say to me today? What wisdom do you want to share with me? Let's listen. As I was listening, I had a picture of um, snow falling, which is funny in July, isn't it? But I felt like, just like snowflakes fall silently to the ground and so softly. If you feel one on you, it's so soft. It's almost like that when we hear things from God. It, it doesn't feel loud and sudden often. Often it just feels like a tiny snowflake dropping on. What was that tiny thing that popped into your mind? Be encouraged that God is speaking to you and that we can hear him better and better the more we try. I am gonna finish off by praying for us all. So let's pray together. Maybe you want to put your hands together at this point. I know mine get really fidgety, so it helps me keep focused on what I'm praying for. And I like to close my eyes because it helps me again to not get distracted. So I'm gonna finish off by praying for us all. Dear God, thank you so much that you love us. Thank you so much that you are with us everywhere we are in Bristol and beyond. Help us to recognize your voice, to hear the wisdom you're saying to us as we read your word, as we spend time with you, worshipping you, praying to you. I pray that we would each know your voice this week and hear your wisdom and help us that when we do to apply it to our lives in Jesus name. And if you agree, we're going to say amen and we're going to wind it up. Ready? Let's go. Amen. Great. Well done. believe it but it's almost the end of episode 16 of St Nick's Kids Online but before we go we love seeing what you are getting up to so we're going to set you some challenges so that you can get involved in the look back or in other segments of a future episode. First of all we have a colouring competition a brand new one for um, July for this brand new Born to be Wise season. So have a go at one of our colouring pictures that are attached on the webpage 
uh, just underneath this video and then you can send it in to us. The colouring competition closes on Tuesday the 14th of July and if you don't have a printer we're going to make some available at our food hub that happens at church on Wednesday. So get colouring and get yourself a beanie boo just like Layla and Sienna did today. And then next, your second challenge throughout the whole month of July, we are going to be learning a brand new memory verse from Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. But can you remember it? Mm, lots of people had a go last month. We'd love to see everybody having a go at our memory verse. And so have a go and send us a video of how you're getting on. And if you do, we'll send a little prize out to you in the post. And then finally, your third challenge is to send us your photos of you joining us for our wild, born to be wild July adventure. Have you got a camo top, some like a headband? I've got leopard print trousers. What have you got going on? Have you got your rocks out, binoculars? We would love to see it. So send in a picture of you born to be wild. And of course, we just love to see how you're getting on. We love hearing from you. So any photos or videos, we'd be really grateful for. Particularly, um, we'd love to see how you celebrated your birthdays. And you can send everything in to kids at stnicholasbristol.org. We cannot wait to see them. So we hope you have a really great week and that you hear wisdom from God and you remember that all of your friends in Bristol and beyond your Sydney Kids family are cheering on for you. Thank you so much for joining us and during the week if you can't wait for another episode why don't you check out our YouTube channel that has Family Worship with Risley, Storytime with Sarah and Neil Richards is up there too. So until next time, we hope you enjoy everything on our YouTube channel and we will see you for another episode released on Sunday. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Bye.